there, and welcome to Draw Anything and Everything. I'm your artist, Mickey Malarkey. You know, I love to draw anytime, including when I'm by myself. But my favorite time to draw is when I'm with friends, and that's why I'm so grateful that you're here to draw with me today. All you need is to have something to draw on, something to draw with, and, you guessed it, a lot of enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. All right, friends, well, what should we draw today? There are so many possibilities. Let's check the imagination box and see if it gives us any ideas. All right, here we go. Ah, the first one's a good one. It is an egg. I don't know about you, but I personally find eggs to be hilarious. There's a lot that we can do with that one idea. All right, the next one coming up, a self-portrait. That's when you draw yourself or somebody draws themselves. That might be a little challenging, but I think we can do it. And the last idea is a tree. Okay, we can put it together. We have a tree, a self-portrait, and an egg. Let's get cracking. I mean, let's get drawing. All right, we have some very intriguing ingredients today. An egg, a self-portrait, and a tree. I guess it could be any kind of tree. So where should we start? As I, uh, as I mentioned, I think eggs are really funny. So I'm gonna make the egg the main feature of today's picture. Um, and I'm gonna put a giant egg right in the front of this picture here, right? Because I remember um, one of the ideas that was given to us was this idea of a self-portrait. So what if, I'm gonna tell you the idea right up front, what if, the egg is drawing a picture of itself. Yeah, that's right. It's a little ambitious, but let's see what we can do with this. So here's our egg friend coming together, right? And uh, I want to make sure that uh, our egg knows that we're watching. So I'm going to draw some eyes on our egg, kind of look at, looking back at us. And uh, you know, when you're drawing, you concentrate. So I'm going to try to really capture that concentration phase, right? This is an egg who's really hard at work trying to uh, trying to capture what uh, what uh, their own likeness looks like, right? And uh, we're gonna draw another hand up here, just like you see with mine when I'm drawing uh, on, these, uh, on these shows. I wanna make sure that we get the egg with its pen. And uh, there we go. And it's drawing along with us some form of self-portrait. Okay, so now we have our egg and we have uh, we have a pen. So we want to make sure that we know that it's drawing on a piece of paper just like us. So let's give it a giant, giant piece of paper. There we go. And uh, remember, it's a self-portrait. So now let's draw the egg in the picture itself. So here is our egg friend. Right? Now we'll give it a hand just like we have. And then uh, let's have a let's have our egg friend sitting down. So our egg friend, there's the shoes. Uh, let's assume that our egg wears shoes, and the legs come in, and there they are. And our egg friend is really starting to come together now. So they're wearing a shirt, our egg friend. So let's uh, let's give our egg friend a shirt here, and they're going to be looking at us just like they are in the foreground. So there's our egg friend and uh, with some eyes and uh, we do the same thing under the eyes there. And then we have our egg friend sitting, let's say on a nice well manicured lawn. Um, so we're starting to see this come together. What about the tree? Well, let's put a tree. This is our egg friend sitting right under a tree. Um, and we can draw any kind of tree that we want. There's really so many kinds of trees in the world. Um, and so making sure you get all the branches in and then we wanna have all the leaves and foliage. It's really just a, just a couple of squiggly lines. That's how easy it is to draw a tree. Um, do you have any ideas of what kind of tree you wanna draw? I think I know what kind of tree I wanna put in here. I'm gonna make this a lemon tree and I'm gonna tell you why. When I was a kid, I had a friend and I made a card for his birthday that's, that had a picture of a lemon tree on it. And the caption was, don't get all sour over it. And um, 
Every time I would see this friend, I would draw the same birthday card for him year after year. Now I haven't seen my friend in quite a few years, and uh, uh, I've tried to find him, but it's been pretty hard. But uh, if he's watching, I want him to know that uh, I'm drawing a lemon tree because it reminds me of him, and it makes me really happy. So there's a lemon tree. Let's put a couple of lemons here on the ground to just, you know, they've gotten all ripe and fresh and, uh, and fallen off the tree. And, uh, and we'll just put a little bit of bark on this tree so that we can see it. Maybe put, uh, maybe put the sun in the corner too. Just, you know, it's a beautiful day for our self-portrait egg. All right, let's give it some color. It's starting to come together nicely now. So our egg friend, uh, you know, my bluish gray, my favorite little bluish gray here. We'll just give him a little bit of that, uh, that round texture. See how easy it is to just bring something like this to life um, for his or her mouth. Really, this egg could be could be any kind of person. We're gonna put uh, a little bit of red red mouth there, and a little bit of red mouth there, and here I'm just gonna just mix this in here. There we go. And then we're going to take some, let's take some green for the shirt. And we're going to take another kind of green here. Again, this is a self-portrait. It's not just a portrait, it's a self-portrait. Look how beautiful that is. And our egg is now really starting to come to life. For the tree, we'll use some brown. There we go. And, uh, and now we have a nice beautiful brown tree for the tree itself, right? Nice beautiful green. Because it's slightly darker than the shirt just to show the differences. There we go. And our egg friend is really sitting under a beautiful lemon tree. I would love to sit under a lemon tree one day in a nice, nice hot sun. All right, and uh, for the lemons, of course, of course, we're gonna make them a nice bright yellow. Look at those beautiful lemons coming together. Beautiful lemons, beautiful. There we go. And uh, for the grass, we are gonna give it some more of that green so it matches our eggplant shirt. And uh, for pants, how about orange? All right, some nice orange pants. We don't, we don't uh, see enough orange pants out there in the world. I just finish up the hand here. All right, just a little bit, a little bit of color. Okay, the sun, the beautiful bright sun. I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna use the orange and yellow pencils together so that uh, we get mix it up together. We've never really done that before. There's some sunlight with the orange and yellow coming down. Look at how beautiful that is. And of course, it's a beautiful day, so let's just give it a little bit of blue in the background. And uh, I think everything is starting to come together really nicely. Okay, so uh, we could wrap it up there. Uh, but of course, as always, if you want to add something like some birds in the distance or uh, maybe uh, um, in the foreground some kind of giant ant, right? There's nothing stopping us from doing anything we want and we can color our giant ant uh, a nice uh, ant burgundy. And he's just coming by to say hello. Well, there you go. There's uh, an egg self-portrait with a tree and I think it's a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed it. So I wasn't kidding, was I? You can draw eggs in so many different hilarious ways. The same as how you can eat eggs in so many delicious ways. And look what we came up with. An egg self-portrait underneath a lemon tree. And eggs and lemon go really well together, don't you think? Thank you so much for drawing with me today. I look forward to next time. Take care now.